Yozora. Okay, hey, we're on a new segment, Talk of the Town. Today we have a special guest, Killer Clay. Killer Clay is in the building. You already know, Far Rockaway floods the label. What, what's the label? Flizz the label, you heard? Flizz the label? Yeah, straight like that. So what what is the, like, how many artists y'all got? It's, you got, I got me, and I got, like, two other people that's coming up. You know what I'm saying? So you manage, My or? Yeah, I'm, like, the CEO of it. I'm starting it up. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Again, everything down pat. So it's Flizz the label? Yeah, Flizz the label like this. Like my cat. Okay, what does Flizz the label artists have to have? Like, they, what do all y'all have? We got that shine. We just got that glow. Like that's what Flizz is. When you hear Flizz, like if you was wearing like a like a, a, a diamond necklace or something, I'd be like, yo, you got some Flizz on right now. Like, it's <laughs> so more it's like ice? your it's it's your aura. You feel what I'm saying? Cause you feel you don't it don't have to be ice. It's just the way you are. You walk in the room. You got that shine. You got so that it's glow. The energy. The energy. That's a fact. Okay. All right. So how did you get into music? Um, I've been doing music since I was young. I'm not gonna lie. Like. You know, being from the hood, everybody raps, you know, like just chilling on the block. That's what I used to do. And I was I was actually good. So at a certain point, I just said, let me start taking this serious. I'm good. Let me start getting connected and start making these mu making this music. So when did you know you was good? Was everybody telling you you was good? or? Yeah, everybody was telling me I was good. Like, I always knew, like, but you know. You can't judge yourself, like, every, because anybody could think, like, oh, yeah, I'm nice, da 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 mm -hmm. But when I used to rhyme and all that around people, they were like, nah, like, you remind me of this, you remind me of them, you remind me of them, you nice, like, get in the booth. And then... So who was the one person that, like, did it for you? You know, everybody say, like, this one person. So what? do you have a one person that got you, like, super motivated? And, uh, um, nah, I say I motivate myself, because I realized that I got a talent, and... I have to bring it out. Like I, I actually love rhyming too. Like if it's not even about the money, I would do it for like a hobby. Sometimes I'll sit there, boom, start jotting stuff down, start stuff start going in my head. So I say like um, my motivation is just to make it, make make me get in a better place, better position. That's okay. my motivation. Okay, so growing up, who's some artists you listen to? Um, of course, I'm from Far Rockaway, so I was bumping stack bundles. R.I.P. Um, I was bumping 50. 50's a big influence to me. Like, that's one of my favorite people right there. We from okay. Queens, you feel what I'm saying? Um, Meek Mill, Future. All right, so a couple of names. A couple Nobody of Nobody really streams. upcoming? Upcoming, yeah. I'm listening, I listen to upcoming artists. Um, okay. One of my favorite that's right now is Pooh Shiesty, my son doing his thing. You mean Pooh Shiesty upcoming still? I mean, he's relatively new. He's not mm -hmm. like he's not like he ain't. Upcoming. I think he's like. Alright, so who you would say is upcoming? Um, let me see. A little lower. A little lower, right? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, nah, so what do you think about that? Nah, once you get a gold that? plaque to me, you're like you go shit. Nah, you right, you right, you right. Got um, that little gold plaque, so you got it. Oh, we well, don't we don't gotta get so lower. So let's get into you. Like, describe your sound. My sound, you know. I have a lot of different, I'm versatile, I'd say, because I could make songs about women, I could make songs about, like, drill time, about being in the streets, about, mm -hmm. you know, hood shit, but, like, um, I would say I'm not drill, I'm, I'm just, like, a, I'm, I'm a rapper, like, I get busy, you give me a beat, and my sound is, my sound is my sound, like, when you hear my music, I throw a lot of A's in there, a little, like a lot of rappers do it, but mine's you could tell, like, oh, that's what he's doing. I say, like, oh, bruh, dogs, like, I got my own sound, my own thing going on, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so, what, when I say sound, I mean, like, you could be versatile, right? But do you mm -hmm. think you're, like, a hip-hop, you're a trap, you're a drill, or you think oh, you, I see what you're, you're saying. all over the place? Or like, you I know, wouldn't like, put myself in one category, because I could play a song right now that somebody would categor categorize as drill. Because mm -hmm. um, maybe the beat, but you know, I I wouldn't say I'm drill. I I put myself probably like trap most likely. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. But you do you still could hear drill beats from me and shit like that. Word. Okay, so 
a lot of artists go back and forth where all oh, the bars matter bars don't matter mm -hmm. it seems like you put a lot of time into your lyrics um does bars still matter to you yeah of course i mean to me but the certain people some people i mean hip-hop has got so big so the, the the core fans of hip hop, where hip hop was listening to bars and stuff like that, it's still out there. You still got the Griseldas, J Cole just dropped something. Mm -hmm. But to me, it's like for the people that's they want to sell records and stuff. It's like their lyrics don't matter. It's just mm -hmm. more of a a catchy rhythm, a catchy hook. You know what I'm saying? Like get somebody. So how do you feel about that being like that's the norm now in music? I mean, it wasn't once like that. I, I really don't like it, but you gotta you gotta just go with it. Like uh, you gotta, cause every artist in their generation they had obstacles that they had to get over, mm -hmm. and if that's an obstacle that uh, artist that does lyric he has to get over, he just has to get over. It. He got to figure out how he can get certain people attention mm -hmm. to to get them to yeah. get on the side. Like you know what I'm Cause you can't sit there and cry about it. Like oh man, like that person made a song. So it's not, like artists it's be not crying about it. I mean. I some people is passionate. Like, some people is passionate because they take this serious, just like you said with the bars. Mm -hmm. So I think some people, some people, it, they get that envy, like damn, like how they making this, making that, and they not even really saying nothing. But I, I just, I say you gotta just, you just gotta find your way in it. You know what I'm saying? You can't mm -hmm. complain because if you want to do this, you gotta do it. You gotta figure mm -hmm. it out. Okay, so you, being that you're from Far Rock, mm. how do you feel about the music scene over there? Like, do you feel like it's harder for artists out there? You feel like like what do you what, what's your thoughts on that of course i think it's harder for us because we don't really have like a um like brooklyn has a whole wave like um one person just has to come out and they they on a drill joint da 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 far rock really don't have like a a real wave that's what i'm trying to bring you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. like i'm trying to bring that wave to it and bring that sound bring that swagger and you know what i'm saying like People outside of the town is messing with me. People inside of the town. So, what do you think it is that Far Rock is lacking? Was it the lack of community? Was it lack of support? Like lack of support, definitely. Right. Because it's not. It's not like it's not talent out there. It's, it's definitely talent out there. But I think it's just like it's just like with nobody being out, being able to bring the talent out, it's hard to. You feel what I'm saying? You got to know somebody to get in sometimes. Mm -hmm. that is all right, so when you're making your music, what's the vibe in the studio? Like, you got to have your friends. You got to have a story to tell. Like, what is it? Um, I like I like friends in the studio because it, it brings energy. It's people that have energy, people that's like, because I feed off that. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's what, yeah, I like, I like, I like company in the studio. Definitely. You know what I'm saying? Like, to, do you have to be in the mood to go to the studio or does it, is it just like it comes to you? Nah, you freestyle, come, you write? Like, what is it? It comes to me. Most of the time, I, I don't, like, I, I book my time. Okay. So I know when I'm going to the studio. You know what I'm saying? Like, I so book it. So it's always organized. Always it's organized, never, like, yeah. Freestyle, today we out. <laughs> yeah, today we out. I mean, if somebody was to say, yo, pull up to my, pull up to my session, there's no, there's no question, I'm there. No, that's, that's you good. You, you, you're, you're planned out when it comes to recording and things like that yeah so um do you have any upcoming collabs on the way uh definitely i got a uh collab with smoke dizza from harlem new york uh i don't know if you know he used to mess with like little the wiz khalifa he got songs with wiz khalifa i'm not gonna tap in yeah you got tapping with him but um yeah i got a song with him coming out soon called popsicle okay and um i'm seeing a little other collabs to see what's up with it Okay. But the Smoke Dizzle song is definitely about to come out soon. So, so is there any artists that you want to collab with? Um, definitely. Like, uh, it's a lot of artists in New York that's doing their thing. Um, a lot of like, I'm not, I'm not, I, I don't mind networking. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, so if I feel your sound and I'm like, I, I hear it, we could, we could, we could, we could cook something up. Okay. That ain't nothing. So you're not against doing features? No, nah, I'm not against that. I'm open to whoever that. and whatever. Yeah, um, that's a fact. So I mean, I gotta yeah. like it though. Like, if I don't like it, and <laughs> cool. I can't, you then definitely have to like it. it's over. Okay, what is, what is what is something you want people to know, or something you think people don't know about you watching your career? Um, I don't know if people know how hard, like, hard of a worker that I am, like, especially with the rap, like, um. 
Like I be in the studio day and night. I shoot videos, all my videos and all I direct ideas, all that is me. Um, so you put the whole treatments together? I put the whole, everything, all that. Like I don't, um, my, my, my man's editing, okay. but I'm there directing, you know what I'm saying? Like boom, mm -hmm. boom, boom, take that out, boom, boom. We going here, we doing there. Um, mm -hmm. Just starting up a label and being able to, uh, just trying to become a voice for my town, like you know, that takes work. You're definitely working to be the voice of fun. That's a fact. Okay. So what is like Not the, the voice on a little dirt joint, but you know yeah, what I'm saying? Like the, the dude that's coming out. Yeah, like, coming out. This, this Word. All right. So what's your goal like with your label? My goal, I want us to, I want us to be so good in the industry, like a, a, a Yo Gotti, mm -hmm. eventually signed to a major. Like, yeah. bring my label to, like, a, a major label. And, mm -hmm. you know, after I'm done with my music, start signing and just building. Building in that way. Bringing, and then hopefully I could be able to bring people out of my town. And bring more light to it. Or, okay, okay. And then, um, what's something that's on your bucket list? What's something you want to accomplish as an artist? As an artist? I wanna, um, I mean, a lot of people want that. I, I, I wanna, I want my song to go platinum. Like, I think like after that, it's just like you taking off from there. You, you, you official. You got the, you got the plat. You good. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what's next for you, like 2021? Um, I'm this something that's coming up. I'm working on a tape. I ain't gonna say the name yet. Um, but it's almost done. Like that joint is gonna, is gonna be real tough. And I'm just gonna be shooting a lot more videos. So any project, you say you're working on a tape? Yeah. So any features on a tape that you're trying to shoot for? Or? Yeah, the smoke desert, like um, soon. So I'm we gotta to... wait for the tape for that one? Yeah, it's not gonna be too long though. Oh, Maybe, right. um, my birthday is next month. So that's what, you know what I'm saying? Something's okay. coming out on so my birthday. Going out. Yeah, that's what I'm preparing for. Like, I gotta hit the studio tonight too. So you got a name for the tape already? Yeah, I got a name. What's the name? No. Um, I nah, <laughs> we gonna say it. It's gonna be called Flizz Rock. Flizz Rock. Flizz Rock. Mm, that might that might start to come to That's what, good. That that's what it do. So um, so how many songs so far? Um, well, I'm gonna keep it goal? to about ten. I'm not trying to go over like oh, okay. too much ten. Cause mm -hmm. how I'm gonna do it, I might. I'm gonna be working this summer, like even after I bring out the tape, be, be prepared for more, a lot of music. Cause I've been in the studio ever since I dropped my tape last year, and I just got mad songs and they hard. So mm -hmm. I'm gonna see how I'm gonna plan it out. But definitely that tape flips rock is coming out next month. Okay. Or, All right. So we gotta tune into that when next month mean in July. July. Yep. Okay. Cause you know June right here. <laughs> so um, tell the people where to find you, where to find your music. I'm all over, like, you could you could Google me, you know what I'm saying? Killer Clay gonna pop up. But you go on YouTube, just type in Killer Clay. Um, you can subscribe subscribe to my channel, Taz100. My Instagram is Killer Clay. Spell K-I-L-L-A-K-L-A-Y underscore. You feel what I'm saying? Um, I'm on Spotify, Apple Music. All like, streaming platforms. All streaming platforms. I'm there. Just type me in, you know what I'm saying? July. July, I don't, I don't got the exact date yet, but okay, July, we're tuning to the tape. July we turning up, that's a fact.